Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Duke Silver. Today we're going to be playing some Wonder Waddle. Um, and kind of a bad shop here to start. We're going to take the thing that can actually turn into an animal though. We're going to take the Lonely Prince and hope that we find a royal in the next shop. Unfortunately the opponent gets to go first here and we do lose that first combat. And we are rewarded with a, a royal in our next shop and we might as well take a chance on this Four Glory. Um, we get a great attack there into their Sure Shot which allows us to get the Four Glory here. And then, uh, yeah, we get rewarded with a really good shop after locking the uh, the chicken and uh, and the cat there. We get the second cat plus uh, plus uh, um, a c kitty cut purse here, which we are going to take. And then we're just going to lock. We don't like rather than just play down a character and taking the treasure here, we decide to just uh, take the kitty cut purse and hope to get some econ, which allows us to buy three level two characters this turn. Also, there is uh, a water wraith in the shop now with the black cat. It's like a pretty good combo. Um, because if you put Black Cat in one, then you can you can get some relatively guaranteed scaling as long as you attack first. But uh but I don't think that's necessarily what we want to be doing, especially because we have this bounty board in our treasure selection here, which we are gonna take. And I think we're just gonna we're gonna jam this uh this TLK and just get a golden three. We were basically hoping for one of the slay characters, but we're not gonna turn our nose up at a golden lucky here. Some pretty good combat RNG here for uh, to take out this opponent's uh, three character board. We're we're also down characters, so uh, we needed some good uh, good RNG there. And uh, and yeah, we TLK the lucky after after finding another one and locking it. And uh, yeah, it's a Sultak with zero power. So uh, without any range, like the zero power like zero power Sultak, not exactly what we want to be doing here. Also, there's a pair of Bane Pyres here, which we are gonna absolutely take with the bounty board. It's a very, very important pair for us to get. And uh, we just switch up the board a little bit there. We, we wanted to put some attack onto the uh, onto the Sultak. Like, again, because we don't have any range, like, uh, we really, really needed to uh, to get some attack onto the Sultak. Otherwise, otherwise, it's just sitting there and basically not doing anything, since anything on our back row is just attacking into, uh, into opponents and dying anyhow. And so we're just left with a, a 0 40 on board. Pick up the uh, Vein Pyre pair, of course. Put a little bit of extra attack on the second Vein. Um, I think we're going to take the Shadow Assassin. I mean, we do have to get the Slays to get the scaling, but it's also um, a ranged character for behind the Soul Attack, which is, uh, which again, is going to be very good. And that means uh, we can potentially uh, play the Soul Attack without any attack now. Um, I don't think we're necessarily going to do that right now, um, but that is an option now. We get a treasure map out of our. Uh, out of our vein pyre triple here we were kind of hoping for just like a bad moon just to uh to really go all in on slay there but um and yeah we didn't uh, like again we we didn't we wanted to we want to keep the attack on the soul pack now just because like uh like moving the mim over um kind of creates weird positioning and also uh we don't need the extra three attack on the vein pyre so we might as well um, I mean, Miri looks like they're struggling anyways, so I don't think it mattered too much. We did pass a Romeo and Juliet there, but uh, but I think it's fine. Like, we just want to find level 4 characters, and also also because of, because of this bounty board and this golden vein pyre, like, we really want to be Slay. Uh, we did pick up a Friendly Spirit and locked one in the shop there, as well as we got to pick up a, uh, um, a mouse, which is, uh, of course, half of a level 4, level four treasure, uh, and with... Uh, with treasure map, that's level six treasure, of course. And yeah, you, you see how well the uh, the salt tag works there as a, as a blocker, as everything just crashes into it, and the, the shadow assassin just slowly uh, picks off everything on their board without any real consequence. So that's the that's the real benefit of having a zero power blocker on your front line. There is a there is a, a lightning dragon which we do kind of want to take, but like we also like we, we really want lightning dragon plus mermaid with uh, with bounty board. It's just like a decent source of uh, econ. There's another lightning dragon and another lightning dragon, and we're running out of gold now, so I think we are gonna take it. It's also just a matter of figuring out well what to sell here. I mean, I think we just sell the the minotaur. Like the cat is uh, is technically a pair, so. So yeah, we go we go for that, and then also that uh, that means that we get um, our first first attack with uh, with the friendly spirit there, and uh, even if it puts stats onto the uh, onto the soul attack, then uh, it's already beyond the the soul attack's attack order. So um, so we get to get to our range attacks faster, basically. And unfortunately, the Athena's blessing did uh, did create a, a 
like a good breakpoint for the opponent there, leaving the uh, it gave that uh, that the donkey one extra toughness, which allowed it to um, survive the the final attack and spawn one more thing, which ended up uh, being very bad for us and uh, losing the fight. Or we, at least we would we probably would have taken less damage if we hadn't uh, if that hadn't happened anyhow. Um, but yeah, we do find our other mouse. We get our level six treasure out of our treasure map, and we're just gonna take Ivory All. That's just gonna allow us to continue getting slays. Um, we get a get a uh, chicken uh, chicken triple here with uh, with Waddle I'm with the two. That's uh, very valuable, and we get to pick up uh, a second mermaid there. And also, we took magic runes um, because we have two level four pairs now. Uh, magic runes is gonna be uh, hopefully easy access for a level five treasure. Which now that we're uh, I mean, with the bounty board and whatnot, like, uh, if we can find a Horn of Olympus, that can go a long way, especially since we have the mermaids now. Uh, also, like, I, I was, I kind of thought that, uh, putting my Soltek there in one was going to act as a blocker again, and, uh, and we were just going to start, be able to, to, like, double support our other things, the River Wish, but, um, I completely forgot about the Ivory Owl I just picked up, and, uh, and yeah, that put some, uh, some, some power on, uh, on Soltek and kind of messed up our attack order a little bit. Didn't matter too much. But, uh, but yeah, I didn't, it did, uh, did make our combat a little less efficient. All right. Now that we have horn, we can, we don't have to worry about where, um, our backline positioning anymore. So that fixes our positioning. Unfortunately, opponent steals our, uh, our golden friendly spirit here. And then the golden friendly spirit goes on to their range in the back row. So, um, some pretty exceptionally bad RNG there, but, uh, we do lose that fight. Fortunately, we mostly minimize damage, so it's not too bad. We're gonna sit, we just jam the Hermes beans here just to uh, to make sure we get to attack first. Very very valuable in Slay, of course. Also, we did get oh, we got quite a bit of gold just because of the uh, um, the baby bear there because the baby bear um, slayed. I'm pretty sure in every single uh, one of its uh, tokens also slayed. Uh, there's that bad moon that we would really like, but I don't think we can afford to get out of the uh, ivory owl for it. Um, it does probably create more scaling if we can find like a Baba. But at this point, like we can't, we just can't really, uh, we can't really get out of a treasure that's going to help us continue to get slays for something that is good for if we are getting slays, just in case we run into like a random soul tack or something, which we don't here. But, uh, but I think, uh, I think, I think just keeping the ivory owl is a little bit, uh, I, I mean, it's safer, but I think it's just better overall. All right. We got a bunch of gold here. We've got 22 gold this turn. We're going to take a second, uh, second mermaid um just just in case we uh we uh find ourselves in a position to play the play the double mermaid and in fact we might be in that position now like with 44 attack on this uh, shadow assassin we can maybe just play it up front and also that's gonna that's gonna massively increase our uh, our gold gain from bounty board as well as if uh it just increases our scaling by quite a bit as the uh the baba enhances the uh the mermaid's um ability we get a level five treasure and uh out of the out of the neon here we, we're hoping for evil eye but um i mean hand of minus is pretty good too we're going to six next turn we're actually just going to hold our treasure over um and basically we're going to get this last turn out of ivory all and then we're going to get out of ivory all because after this like we should be in uh, top four and life totals are getting pretty low so we're not going to get too much value out of the ivory all left so i think finding a golden getting a golden character with our with the hand of minus is a little bit more uh more valuable anyway because uh, I mean, we would love to find a golden yorm um golden baba would be fine as well probably speaking of golden baba we have 27 gold left we might as well just fire off this uh, this knighthood on the baba that still leaves us with 15 gold we get to launder this chicken and just uh get some extra gold with it and there's that yorm which we are going to take we just sell out of our our golden uh golden neon not that important anymore anyways Normally I like to hold on to golden neons, but we've also we also have another golden five as well. Like we've got this golden baby bear, which if like if we really want to TLK it into something, then then the, the baby bear is definitely a better option because it has extra stats on it. Um, and there is Empress P, and we're gonna sell down for it. It's kind of awkward, but we're gonna sell out of our, our very large vein pyre here. Vein pyre is pretty much done anyways, but uh, like this is the best opportunity for us to get a. Um, get an Empress P slay against the ghost here and we do fortunately opponent's board is like pretty weak so so yeah again we uh 
We managed to take advantage of that and uh, and get a bunch of scaling on this Empress P, which is enormous for us. Not only is that going to be a ton more bounty board uh, gold, but it's also um, just like the fastest scaling thing that we can uh, we can get. So now we have 58 gold or 59 gold. Sorry. Um, you can see me just kind of hovering over that. Just uh, people in chat were asking uh, asking what it did and exactly why it was so good here. So I had to uh, had to of course uh, take a moment to uh, to explain. You can see me pointing pointing all over, <laughs> showing showing some of the benefits of it, or how many how many different slay instances you get from the uh, from the um, the mermaids, anyways. Since uh, since the mermaids are putting one instance of slay on uh, on whatever the support, and because P gets double bonuses, it gets two different instances of slay. So you can multiply that by uh, by two because of the uh, because of the double double mermaid, and then also we've got the the Baba, which increases those slay abilities by a lot. So or inc increases those uh, the slay slay stats anyhow. And because we got the uh, the golden P now, that's uh, that's of course tripled instead of just doubled. So there's three slay abilities from each mermaid now. And yeah, that's why uh, that's why the the P just ends up uh, putting a ton of stats on, or so much, so many more stats on like Yorm, and, and so many more slays out of bounty board anyhow. Um, and yeah, out of our Pandora's box that we got for tripling that P, um, we did get a round table, which like is actually pretty good here um i mean like we don't have a, like a ton of like extra attack on on most of our things but it does give uh it does give our shadow assassin an extra extra 200 uh 230 health <laughs> which uh is really really good makes it a lot better at getting attacked into so uh so we'll t happily take that and yeah shadow assassin gains gains attack so so fast here that uh that, yeah this is a, a great pickup um, okay, one one mistake that I do kind of make here is I should be playing the Golden Baba over the unupgraded Mermaid, which is uh, definitely a mistake. But I mean, when you're taking when you're trying to spend this much gold, it's uh, it's a little bit tough. Uh, we do get out a bounty board there because we do finally find the Evil Eye, and uh, opponent here is on uh, Round Table Trees. Fortunately for us, they uh, decided to play around the Lightning Dragon um, and played their their Golden uh, Golden Echo Woods there in the back rather than uh, up front to try and deny other slaves. And that means their front line just ended up being uh, not all that big. And I mean, they don't have upgraded uh, upgraded Echo Wood or anything right now. So uh, so yeah, we end up making pretty short work of this round table trees board. We drop them to one, uh, doing 22 damage. And if we'd been playing the Golden Baba, they would have been dead. <laughs> so again, kind of a big, excuse me, big mistake there. All right, we only have 12 gold to work with this turn. Um, like we saw that they're trees, so like we don't necessarily need to pick up a soul tack, um, which we we picked up earlier when we had the gold. Yeah, you can see I put the uh, the golden baba on, and like like I should I should just be playing the golden baba because like um, just us usually two mermaids is like more scaling in general, so so that's kind of why I was doing I was playing the uh, the second mermaid, and also like we're in a good position here, like we can still kind of. I mean, there's no point in greeting. It's the last fight, but uh, yeah. All right. It looks like opponent did have a have a, a golden uh, golden dragon to are uh, waiting in the wings there, and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, they took out took out our Baba, but uh, but we do get enough slays and put enough stats on Yorm for uh, Yorm to be big enough to uh, gobble up their board, and our 500 500 uh, Shadow Assassin there just uh, ends up being enough, and uh, and yeah. There we get the win and we're just gonna zoom in on chat as they uh <laughs> they remind you to like and sub and uh so shout out to carol for for the for the plug uh, i guess um and yeah anyways twitch chat says hi anyhow carol says uh like and sub uh sandwich king says hello dragon Di dragon die says hello so uh yeah if you, i mean if you want to go and say hello to these uh these lovely people in twitch chat then uh yeah, you can you can follow my Twitch. It'll be in the description as well as in the pinned comment. And uh, yeah, it would be great to see you over there. But yeah, like Carol said, please like, subscribe, comment, do all the fun stuff that helps the algorithm. I would very, very much appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.